Um, that's your, what you said just suggested something to me, and that is, um, so if you've got an unruly uh, group of any sort with lots of strong opinions, right, one thing to do is to bring them together and mm -hmm. let them debate each other and have a bit of a workshop, right? Um, so I could imagine doing that with an external board of directors, let the, uh, some of them balance each other's concerns and inform your strategy that way. Definitely, if you can do it. I mean, the challenge you often have with, with the board of directors well, is getting them together. I, I was going to ask if that, if that method, <laughs> that. if there was a method for the internal to bring out the competing voices instead of squashing them and synthesize somehow. Yeah. You can definitely do it. And the challenges you can often have with the board of directors is you meet them like quarterly. And often what you can find with certain board members is they'll only come once or twice a year to your board meetings. Don't mean this in a bad way, but often those are VC appointed folks as well anyway. So you can, it can often be quite hard to get the consistency across all of those meetings. Now what your chairperson should be able to do is to make sure that you're enforcing much more of a um, attendance at these meetings and making sure that people are always there. Because again, to, board, to build that high performing board, they need to be able to work together for a period of time. And actually that means people have to come to things like, if you can do it, a workshop or at the very least a certain number of, of board meetings every year.